All right, today I'm going to show you how to connect to MongoDB using the coefficient add-on. If you do not have the coefficient add-on, go to extensions, add-ons, and get add-ons, and then search for coefficient in the add-on store. Once you have it installed, then we can go ahead and proceed by opening the add-on by clicking launch. Once our sidebar is open, we can click on import from, and then we're just going to want to find the MongoDB. And so if you is brand new, this won't have any connected sources. So you can just see if it's in the suggested sources. If not, you can click on see all sources and then just scroll down to Mongo. So we'll click connect. And then there are two ways to do it. One is a username password with the host and port. Otherwise, you can just do the connection string right here. And there's a quick walkthrough if you click here and it shows you how to get to that string with an example here. So we're gonna go ahead and paste this in. And then we're just going to fill in a database name. And so you can fill in a database name that you need. And if you have not done this, make sure to whitelist the IPs in the security settings. And so just add these. And then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click connect. And again, I'll remind you if you have not done this already. And then if you are on a team, you decide whether you want to share or not. We're going to click not right now. And then now under connected sources, click on Mongo and import data. So now we can click from collections or fields or import templates. We haven't created any templates, so we can go ahead and click on from collections and fields. And then this will bring up our import preview. And you can select one of these here, tables. And then you can determine which columns you would like to bring in. So you can select all if you prefer. And then you can uncheck if there's any that you don't want. You can also add a filter if you like by a column. You can change the sort or you can also do a limit. Once you have the settings that you like, we can go ahead and click on import. And once it's done importing, you can select a refresh schedule here, an hourly, daily, weekly, and a timetable. Or if you want to rerun it, you can do it from there. And so that's all it takes to import data from your Mongo database into Coefficient. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.